So are you looking for a new career this morning? The Smith County Sheriff's Office may have a job for you. The Morning Loop's Martin Jelly Lopez joins us now with a look at the openings and how you can apply. If you're looking for a new job this year and looking to get into law enforcement, you may want to consider one of the 39 open positions here in the Smith County Jail. You don't have to have any prior experience, so what we're looking for is somebody who has a clean background, somebody who uh, has a high school diploma. Other than that, everything else is taught on the job. Smith County is searching for motivated people who are ready to work inside the jail as detention officers. Detention officer is, is the backbone of the jail. Captain of Operations William Ferris says they are responsible for inmates during their shift. The job description says the job, quote, requires close interaction with inmates under normal and potentially volatile circumstances. The officers work to help the inmates inside the jail, whether it's checking on their welfare, taking them to the clinic, or helping them with their laundry. Smith County Administrator John Shoemaker says it's a great job for those looking to get experience in law enforcement. You're you're supervising inmates, so your work environment is not always going to be great. Um, you have inmates that are not going to be cooperative with stuff that we're doing, but most of the time you'll have your employers or your, your fellow jailers that you'll be working with. They're, they're there to help you, they're there to assist you, and they're always, um, we're always trying to work and have it as a family atmosphere to where your coworkers are more your family than they are your coworkers. Has this job piqued your interest? The starting salary is $33,620 a year, and Chief Shoemaker says there will be plenty of opportunities to make more with overtime pay. Here's some advice from Captain Ferris if you're interested in applying. Don't be afraid. I think um, Hollywood has glamorized the, you know, the jails and prisons, and, and in every day it's fights and, and we're running nonstop. Um, it's not like that. A lot of these individuals are, are neighbors, friends, family members here in the community. Uh, they've made either bad decisions in life or they've got caught up where they may have been addicted to a, a substance. Um, but they've just made mistakes in life and they're here and they're not bad individuals. So uh, they're just human beings just like the rest of us. We got you covered, East Texas. Marangeli Lopez, CBS 19. If you want to learn more about the openings, we put a link on the to the application rather on our website, cbs19.tv.